Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I just went to my P.O. box a few hours ago and saw that I had received the new eyeshadow palette from Game Beauty and wanted to go ahead and film with it pretty much right away. So we're going to be testing this out today. If you're not already familiar with Game Beauty, they are a relatively new indie brand. They had a adventure palette, which I'll leave a picture of on the screen in case you haven't seen it before, which had a few pressed glitters in it, and they reached out to me previously to receive PR and asked me if I'd like to try that palette. If you know me, you know pressed glitters aren't my style. I said thank you so much for the offer, but this isn't my personal taste. It's not something I could see myself using, but they reached out to me to let me know that their newest palette, the Fantasy palette, does not have any pressed glitters and that they would like me to be on their PR list, so I said yes, and it is such a cute little palette. I guess I should show you. It folds open like this and then there is a little mirror on the inside here. I actually have it upside down. So here's what it looks like up close. Lots of really beautiful pastel shades. Definitely gives me summer vibes and the artwork and everything is really beautiful. I honestly have no idea what to expect from this formula. So we're just going to go ahead and do some swatches and then do an eye look. So let's go ahead and just jump right on in, keep it nice, chill, casual. I love how foldable this palette is and that it like just completely bends back perfectly. But the very first shade is called Illuminate and it looks to be kind of like a yellowy green pastel shade. So on first touch, I mean, it's, it feels like a soft formula but it doesn't feel overly powdery. Here, I'll just go ahead and swatch it. I mean, that's decent pigmentation but it's definitely a little bit on the light side maybe something i would suggest using a white eye primer for and then next we have the shade dreamland which is a soft pastel pink and we also have celestial which is a kind of sparkly i don't want to call it flaky per se but it almost has like a little bit of like a flaky texture to it and it looks to be a white with the tiniest hint of like a blue purple indigo iridescence to it so there's the first three shades okay next we have buff which looks like this one is a satin and just bright blue it just seems to be a very very true satin it's non metallic it's not a complete matte but i'm thinking i could probably throw that in the outer v and make it work and then we have the shade Mana, which is like a, it looks like an indigo with like silver speckles in it. I'm kind of curious to just blend this a little bit and see. It looks like as I'm moving it around, I'm seeing more silver speckles. So hopefully it kind of goes through more and it's not just like an overcoat, but it looks like an indigo kind of satin with soft silver sparkles in it. And then we have Faith, which is a soft peachy pastel. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit more Faith. Okay, this next shade Ethereal looks so beautiful. It looks to be a purple with a blue shift and it looks super sparkly, just a very, very pretty shade. It kind of reminds me of Astro, I wanna say, from the Club Nebula palette, which I actually have right here. I was wearing this earlier today for my green St. Patty's look, but it kind of reminds me of this shade right here. And we have Icy Fantasy, which is a soft, minty pastel shade, Courage which this one does feel a little bit more powdery. It's a cobalt blue. Okay. I feel like I have a look starting to come together in my mind because at first when I was looking at the palette, I was like, this is really pretty, but I don't even know what I want to do, but I see it now. So lastly, I'm going to take the shade Mage. I'm not a gamer, so some of these names are just going right over my head. This shade feels a little bit harder pressed, but it looks like a really beautiful... Oh, okay. <laughs> that didn't swatch so well. Let me... I'm pressing it a little bit harder. Kind of like a beautiful purpley gray. Okay, it's not swatching the best, but I really like the undertone of that one. So there are all of these swatches. So in case anyone is wondering, because I always get questions and I always forget to 
uh, put, say it in the video, but this nail polish is $9.99 from Polish for Days, and it is beautiful. So before we jump into the look, I just want to acknowledge that I do have mascara on already, and that's just because I had makeup on earlier. My full face is what I put on at like 7 o'clock this morning, and it's, gosh, what time is it? It's 12, it's almost 1 a.m. When I was talking about the It Cosmetics CC Cream being so good, this is literally what it looks like after, is that my, my brain can't even math right now, that's like over 16, 17 hours or something like that, shook. So I just took off my eyeshadow and then threw on some eye primer over and today I'm using the ABH eye primer. I'm gonna start off with the light pink Dreamland. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that and I'm gonna start that off on, oh wow. Okay, I did not expect for it to just immediately show up with that much pigment based on the swatches. Okay, just gonna kind of focus that on the inner portion of my eye. Hopefully it doesn't turn purple because this brush was dirty and I wiped it off but I really need to wash my brushes. It's been too long. <laughs> so I'm just packing that on a little bit. And, hmm, I think next I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Icy Fantasy, and I'm gonna just put that in like the middle. Kind of build it up a little bit, start blending it out. It's kind of turning purple in between. Maybe I messed up the way of my order because I was gonna put the purple too, but now I'm like, Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take the blue on the rest of my <laughs> crease. Maybe I didn't think this through. Just take it all the way along here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the mage shade and just putting a little bit of that on the middle. Really know if that's doing a whole bunch. Oh, you know what? I can see it there though. I feel like that might be a shade I just kinda have to use on its own to like really see what it does but it's showing up more than it did in the swatch. And building that up and blending it out kind of gives me like a watercolor effect right now. I'm gonna go back into a little bit more of the pink. I feel like I've definitely done looks similar to this in the past, but I just love a good rainbow eye moment. I'll probably try and use as many shadows as I possibly can. So I think next, I'm gonna go into a little bit of this shade buff right here just because I'm curious to see how it'll work. Not exactly the focal point of the crease, but kind of the outer V and then blend it out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I can see the sparkle a little bit, but I feel like you could use that through your crease or you could use it all over the lid and then just like blend it out and do like a one shadow look if you wanted to do a quick pop of blue. So I'm just kind of filling in my outer view with that. It's applying really evenly. Once again, wiping off my brush. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Courage right here. And I'm gonna use that on my outer V. Just to add a little bit more depth. And then just lightly buffing it out. Okay, why does that actually look so cute? Okay, I'm trying to plan this out to how I can get every single color on my eye. So I think I'm gonna go into a little bit of the yellow shade Illuminate next, and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. The shade, the trick is to pat a little bit more, but it's showing up pretty well. Go back into a little bit more of the pink, just blending in between those two shades. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the shade Faith next. Popping it right here. Now I'm gonna go into a little bit more of the pink Dreamland as kind of a buffer. And I'm gonna pop that on the middle of my lower lash line. I can definitely see the pastel not showing up as much on my lower lash line, which does not have any primer on it. So that's something to keep in mind. I think that using the ABH primer, which is a little bit more tacky, very, very light, probably is helping these shadows since they are pastels. But now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Mana next. 
and I'm going to use that on my outer third of my lower lash line. Just kind of connecting the outer V. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but the silver sparkles in that shadow are sticking really well, and it looks super pretty. Okay, so now for the lid. I feel like just after touching the texture of Ethereal and Celestial, I want to go in with a glitter primer, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just popping a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm going into a flat shader brush so that I can kind of put this exactly where I want it to go. Kind of being a little bit more precise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the shade Celestial first. I'm gonna pop that on the front of my lid. That's very pretty. Then once I get about halfway, I'm gonna go into the shade Ethereal and fill up the rest with that. I feel like that looks pretty, but the shade Ethereal almost looks a little bit sheer for my liking on the lid. I'm gonna go in with my finger. Just see. Okay, yeah, that helps. Much better. Then I guess I'll go in with the Celestial on my other finger and just kind of go back and forth, help them blend a little bit better. I think without using any glitter primer, I'm also gonna go ahead and use a little bit of Celestial on the inner corner just to see how it looks. Put me right here. I kinda just wanna try the shimmers on this side a different way. Maybe I'll use them wet and just see, see the difference. So I'm just gonna dip into Celestial and then spray my brush. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, it looks a little sheer. Let me try and pick up some more. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks actually really pretty. Okay, not mad at that. Also looks a little... Just a little crinkly on my eyelid. All right, I'm picking up Ethereal and spraying it. I'm feeling like I don't think that these shimmers are gonna be a favorite formula for me. I just feel like I have similar colors that are in like more sparkly, more user-friendly formulas. Honestly, already have mascara on. I don't even really feel the need to add more. Maybe we can go ahead and I had blush and highlight on earlier, but it's been a while. It's faded a lot. So something I was thinking of is that Faith would be a really cute blush. So maybe we can try. I'll use like my smallest, <laughs> my smallest blush brush to dip in. I'm just going to take a little BK Beauty 108 brush. Just throw that on the cheeks. For a little bit of peachiness. And then I kind of want to go ahead and just try Celestial as a highlighter just to give it a shot, even though I'm not entirely convinced that I'm going to like it as a face highlight. Hmm. It's kind of this funny in between because it's like not sparkly enough for my eyes, but too sparkly for my cheeks. But if you have a lighter skin tone and you don't mind a more intense sparkly highlight, you could use it at like this. I think I'm just gonna finish off real quick with some Sweet Mouth Gloss Balm from Fenty. Okay, so this is the finished look trying the palette for the first time. I do apologize if it's not perfect. I feel like I'm kind of off a little bit. Like I feel like I could have blended a little bit better. My angles look a little lopsided, but I honestly have been wearing the most minimal makeup recently. I mentioned this on Twitter, but I feel like I've just been struggling to want to do anything, including my makeup recently. So this is the first time I've done a look in like three weeks that actually took more than 
two minutes to do so I feel like I kind of need to get back in the swing of things but overall I think that this palette does seem to be a really cute little palette I do like the color story I like that it is a pastel palette but it's a little bit something different I feel like I need to play with it more the mattes I think blended well they seem to apply really easily they were pretty easy to work with like I said as I was putting it on I don't feel like the shimmer formula is my absolute favorite this is my first time trying game beauty so I do feel like I need to dig into this more before I can give you my full complete thoughts but hopefully you enjoyed this first impression hopefully it was helpful hopefully I was able to get it up and live before this palette goes on sale so that is everything I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video Bye.